completely shattered after World War II and then divided throughout the Cold War and from there blossomed into the largest economy in Europe and fourth largest nominal GDP in the world. Germany is now an attractive vacation destination for the tourists across the globe. Best known for its famous Oktoberfest and popular football clubs, Germany is also home to some most beautiful landscapes, gorgeous castles and important historic sites. In this video, we will share a travel guide to two most beautiful cities of Germany, Munich and Berlin. The Visa to visit Germany, all Indian citizens need a tourist visa which can be applied online. For that, you will have to submit duly filled up an application form along with valid passport, two copies of photos, proof of accommodation, return ticket, travel insurance document, travel itinerary, proof of financial means. The charge of this visa is 80 euro for an adult and 40 euro for children from 6 to 12 years of age. The best time to visit You can visit both Berlin and Munich throughout the year, but the best time to visit these two cities are from June to August. The Tour In this 7 day long tour, we will suggest you to spend 3 days in Munich and 3 days in Berlin. It is better to start the tour from Munich. Well known for Oktoberfest, BMW Museum, great football club Bayern Munich, the Bavarian capital of Germany, Munich is a lively modern city where rich history joins hand with modernity. On the first day, after reaching Munich, you can take a stroll at the famous marketplace, Victorian Markt. It is the best outdoor market here, located in the heart of the city's old town. There are around 140 stalls, selling almost everything from flowers to fruits and vegetables to meat. The market is also a great place to stop for a coffee or tidbits. The market is open Monday to Saturday from around 8 am to 6 pm. While you are at this place, be sure to taste the famous pretzel or brazil in German. It is a traditional baked pastry shaped into a knot and has salt seasoning outside. On the next day, start the city sightseeing tour from Marienplatz Square, which is over 900 years old and is the heart of the city. In ancient time, the place was used as a marketplace and now it is a place for festivities. At present, the prime attraction of this place is the new town hall which fills one entire side of the square. This neo-gothic architecture is probably the best building in Munich. You can even get up the tower of this building for views over the city. On top of this tower, there is a statue called the Munich's Child, which is a symbol of this city. On the opposite side of the new town hall, there is the old town hall. This is a popular shopping destination that includes numerous boutiques, stores, restaurants and pubs. Affectionately termed as Old Peter, St. Peter's Church is the next important place to visit in Munich. It is the oldest church of the city. This church was rebuilt and renovated several times after the fire of 1368 and following the Second World War. You can climb up 300 steps tower here to get a gorgeous view of the city and even the mighty Alps on a clear day. At the center of the Marienplatz stands Frauenkirche. The roof of this church was collapsed during the Second World War and was renovated over the years. An interesting feature of this church is the Devil's Footprint, which is a large imprint of a foot. According to the legend, in 1468, architect Halspach went in search for money to build a new cathedral and finally bargained with the devil. The devil agreed to provide the funds on the condition that inside the building there should be no windows to let the light in. After the completion of the building, von Halspach let the devil inside to survey. There seemed to be no windows. Instead of that, there was light inside. The devil was satisfied. But when he moved one step farther, the columns that had been blocking the windows opened up. 
the devil was infuriated at being tricked and stamped his foot on the floor and permanently marked it with his black footprint. Till date, this footprint is there inside the church. But there are few doubts with the origin of this mythological tale. The cathedral houses a black marble tomb, the resting place of Emperor Ludwig of Bavaria. You can climb up to the observation platform of the South Tower for a magnificent view of the city. Next important place to visit inside this city is the English Garden. Covering 910 acres of land, it is one of the most beautiful public parks of the city. There is also a Chinese tower and a Japanese tea house inside this park. You can even enjoy surfing at this place. Home to the 1972 Summer Olympics, the Olympic Park of Munich is set over an area of some 2.7 million square meters. This place was a former training ground for the Bavarian Royal Army. Now it is a major recreational center. Located near the Olympic Park, BMW Museum will surely lure all the car fans. Nearly all the models the company has made, including sports car, racing models and motorcycles are showcased here. Around 5 km from the Old City, majestic Nymphenburg Palace stands over an area of over 200 hectares. In the 17th century, the palace was the summer residence of the Wittelbach electors. The garden surrounding it includes beautiful flowers, sculptures and even canals. There are various museums inside this palace which you can check in. The Deutsches Museum is the world's largest museum of technology and showcases 17,000 artifacts, ranging from early astronomical instruments to the latest science on global warming. On the third day of your Munich tour, visit Neuschwanstein Castle. It is a 19th century historic palace on a rugged hill. The castle was a private residence for King Ludwig II of Bavaria until his death in 1886. Due to its secluded and strategically unimportant location, the palace survived the destruction of two world wars. This castle served as the inspiration for Disneyland's Sleeping Beauty Castle. From the car parking space, you can reach the castle either on foot that will take around 30 to 40 minutes or by a horse driven cart or by shuttle bus. For both these cases, you will have to walk for 10 to 15 minutes to reach the castle gate. The castle is open from April to 15th October from 9 am to 6 pm and from 16th October to March from 10 am to 4 pm. To visit inside the castle, you will need a ticket. A 30 minute long guided tour is available to visit the castle. The next destination that we suggest to visit in this tour is Berlin. Berlin, the capital city of Germany, stands on the side of the River Spree. It is a city which was devastated during two world wars and then divided into two parts at the time of Cold War. And from there, it now emerges as an economic powerhouse of Europe. Yes, this is Berlin an extremely green and least populous capital cities in Europe. Many parks, forests and lakes are dotted across this city. With miles long cycle track and strict traffic rules, you can easily explore the city on foot or on bicycle. Start your Berlin tour from the Brandenburg Gate, built in the 18th century as a symbol of peace. The gate was heavily damaged during the Second World War. Then it was isolated by the division of Berlin during Cold War and now it is the symbol of reunification of Germany as this is the rallying point of the reunification day. Close to the Brandenburg Gate, there stands the Holocaust Memorial. It is dedicated to the Jewish victims who were killed in the hands of the Nazis. Next important place to visit is the Reichstag. This building was once burnt bombed and then again it is rebuilt. It is also a symbol of Berlin reborn. Now this is the seat of the German parliament. Today 
the visitors can climb the Reichstag's transparent dome for a bird's eye view of the entire city. However, you have to take prior permission for that. Once used as a hunting ground and now converted into a beautiful public park, the Tiergarten is a 500-acre area of forest, woodlands and canals. It is a famous place for picnics, jogging, walking or simply lounging. The Tiergarten is also home to the Victory Column, the Soviet War Memorial and the official residence of the German President. Checkpoint Charlie The Cold War's most famous border crossing between East and West Germany is yet another interesting place to visit in Berlin. The adjacent museum gives an insight of the history of this checkpoint and the ingenious ways in which Berliners escaped through it. At Didier Museum, you can experience the life in East Germany under the socialist rule. A 1.3 km long section of former Berlin Wall is converted into the world's largest open-air gallery by 100 international artists. It is the East Side Gallery. This place is now a symbol of freedom. Museum Island of Berlin is home of five well-known museums. The place is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, filled with many artifacts and beautiful painting collections. The Berlin Cathedral also located on Museum Island. You can climb the wide 270-step staircase to reach the observation deck at the top and enjoy the breathtaking view of the city lying below. The foods that you must try while in Berlin are currywurst, which is actually grilled sausage served with ketchup, Worcestershire sauce and curry powder. You can find this on every street food stall in Berlin. Spurzel It is Germany's take on pasta. It's generally served with generous amount of cheese on top, which adds flavor and texture. Donut kebab Another popular street food of Germany. The dish is originated in Turkey. Meat and salad stuffed inside a wrap is a perfect snack item on the go. You can find it in any street food stalls just like currywurst. The booking details. There are many tour operators in India offering this tour package, which you can book online. Other than booking the entire package, you can separately book the accommodations and the sightseeing tour online. I will share all the online booking links in the description box below. If you love this Munich and Berlin tour plan, then please like and share the video. Also, let us know your opinion in the comment section below. Your opinion means a lot to us. Thanks for watching it.